You are listening to 88.3 The Sting. I'm Olivia McGreevy. Joined by Matthias Andrew Hart, and today we have the Orphan, the Poet, and man, you guys did great earlier. I just saw, I saw you guys crowd surfing. It was such a great time, and now you're here, so how's it going, guys? Oh, thank you so much for having us. Uh, my name's Jake. I play in the Orphan, the Poet. Hey, I'm David. I also play in the Orphan, the Poet. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, crazy. Who would have guessed? Crazy. I wouldn't have. Um, so I just want to say, like you said, we saw your set earlier. Absolutely loved it when you guys pulled out One Direction. I mean, I I heard you sound checking, I think, earlier. And yeah. then I was like, oh, my God, no way. Loved it, loved it, loved it. You guys are my favorite of the day by far. Um, oh, stop. No, yeah. seriously, I was so excited to see you guys today. Um, we do play you guys on the station. We have Feeling Good Could Be Better on the station right now. Do you want to tell our listeners about that song? Yeah. Yeah, um, that was a song that, like, a lot of times when we're writing songs, we're belaboring things. We're like looking over every detail, and that one came to us in what, like, an hour, maybe two hours, the entire song written. Yeah, it was on kind of like the exact opposite of like our normal like yeah. workflow, and it was a little scary because we're like, wait, is this, is this good, or is this like not? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you kind of start second guessing, but like you know, our we luckily. We had our good friend and producer, Matt Squire, who was like, no, guys, 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 stop overthinking it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Just run with it. And uh, I think, yeah, like you said, one afternoon, and it was it. Was it. it was done. It was yeah. done. 100%. So I guess when you guys started overthinking, you thought it could be good, but could be better? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yes. got it. I'm just kidding. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what was your favorite part about performing today? Um, I, I think coming to Cleveland and seeing the amount of people that were just here for our band mm -hmm. is wild. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, like, okay, so we played early for anyone mm -hmm. who wasn't here. We played very early, and I was I, I was worried, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, we, were, we opened up the stage, and I thought, no one's going to be here, and that's fine. Like, I don't know if I would get to a festival this early. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, but honestly, it was amazing. Ooh. Everyone was here. People were singing along. And so, like, my favorite part is kind of like the, like, I don't. It's, it's like the unknowing. Mm -hmm. It's like, I love it when people are like, I, I had no idea who you were. And like, I just heard you and I came over. I've never heard of you before. That's honestly my favorite thing. Yes. You know? And I actually have to say, the girl over here at Rad, I was standing with her during your set. And she looked at me, she's like, I love them. She's like, I came here not knowing them, but uh, I'm leaving a fan. So oh that man. happened. I heard it that's, firsthand. That's yeah, my that's favorite. my favorite yes. thing. Like, yes. anytime, anytime we're like playing a festival or opening on tour for a bigger band, uh -huh. like, yeah. when we can walk on stage and win over people is my favorite night. That's yes. it. Sure. That's it. Like, I Absolutely. love winning people over. Yeah. Yes. And you guys are from Columbus, Ohio, if our listeners don't know that. So how is it kind of playing in your home state, like being able to play a festival? You know, that must be a good feeling. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Like, we always love playing in Columbus. We love playing in Ohio. And so we so we, were ju we, we just got off tour. Mm -hmm. And sadly, we missed our hometown show. Yeah. I was sick, and we didn't, get, we didn't get to play. And so, like, you know, we were definitely kind of bumming that, like, we didn't get to play Columbus. Um, we didn't play Cleveland on that tour either. No, but I feel like we were coming to this festival with, like, an edge. Oh yes, we had like a, we had a point to prove. We were yes. like, hey, if we're gonna if we're gonna come here, the underdogs, yeah, I mean, the underdogs. <laughs> we're, we're gonna come here and we're gonna, if we're gonna make a name for ourselves. And I feel like we did it, <laughs> dude. I, I feel like this is you are just giving like the best like post game interview right now. Yeah, the like, orphan, the poet, we did, we did what we could. You know what, coach? You know, it like was, you know, we, it was, it was close up, at the end. We but. showed up and it was a lot of heart, and uh, that was it. Yeah, you, you want some people you over. Yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, as now the underdogs of Wonderstruck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, dude, I, I'm about that. Dude. Yeah. You're the boat, underdogs of Wonderstruck. Yeah. Um, so who are you guys most excited to see today? Ooh, um, I feel like I'm contra I'm not contractually obligated to say this, but uh, Weathers. So, like, we just got off tour with Weathers. We were out on the road with him for, like, six weeks. We love those guys. They are actually closing down the stage we played, mm -hmm. which is super cool. It feels like we're back on tour with them. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, they're the homies, um, so yeah, I think I'm most excited to see them. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. If I can't say Weathers, I'm going to say Vampire Weekend. We've done oh, yeah. a festival or two with them prior, and it's been their show is just amazing every night. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So, so, Vampire Weekend. So, since you guys did go on tour, would you guys rather have the experience of going on tour or just playing with your hometown crowd? Ooh. Ooh. See, okay, so that's very interesting because obviously hometown is always good, but I, I want to say... I like the edge. Yeah. So like rolling into a city we've never played before. Like oh, Dallas or like, like yeah. Dallas, Austin, all, all all these places. 
I like not knowing how it's gonna go. Like, you know, it could be awful. It could be like a horrible show. Yeah. But like, it's on us to like ensure that it isn't. And like, sometimes we we do fail. Sometimes we fail and it's crap. Yeah. But I like just having that like, well, like that, that energy. Like, you know? we showed up in Dallas and we'd never played there before. I don't, I don't think. think. No. And it was a sold out show ahead of time, and we it was on us to win over the crowd. Yeah. And I think that like the edge, like you're saying. I love that. Is yeah. like we like kind of like live for that. We won over yeah. however many hundreds or whatever of people were there. Yeah. That night, it was awesome. That is so, awesome. So yeah, so yeah, I, th I think the touring, like playing in a new city every night, that's our vibe. Yeah. For sure. Alrighty. And speaking of which, do you guys have any upcoming shows or anything upcoming that you want to plug on this? What do, we, what do we have? So we are playing Wonder Bus. Woo! We're Wonder Struck today, but we're yeah. playing Wonder Bus in August. 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 We'll be there August. again, too. Yes. Oh, I'm excited. So yeah, come yeah. see us. Come find us. Amazing. Definitely. Yeah, so that's super exciting. We're from Columbus, playing hometown. That's amazing. Wow. I think we have some other things coming up yeah, in the rest other, of the year. Like, festivals. Just, like, follow us on at TOTV Band, and you'll see all of our other tour dates. Yeah. Amazing. All right, and... I feel like this is such a bad question to ask, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Can't wait. Which one's the Orphid and which one there is the Poet? There we go. Oh my gosh. Like, also, we're sworn to secrecy, we'll never tell you. Yeah. <laughs> on that note, follow us on at TOTV Band. <laughs> Listen to our new song called Feeling Good we Could really Be Better on Spotify. Yeah. And here on The Sting. And here on The Sting. Yeah, the Sting. Drink water. Eat your vegetables. Tell your mom you love her. There you go. There you go. Wise words. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it.